show you guys real quick my solar system um, I don't want to climb all the way up there right now so I'm on standing on top of a six-foot ladder and uh, I'm just gonna show you guys the whole thing so it's 7,000 watts okay um, they made me put the conduit above the roof if you put it inside the roof um, it was a real big deal for permitting so unfortunately I had to put the conduit on top of the roof but you have to space it like that and uh, then it goes down here so a total of 7,000 watts pretty much I don't have much of an electric bill uh, for some reason December and January there's not much Sun half these panels don't get hit because I if I put them on the back side of the roof, I get less sun in the summer. And if I put them over here, I get more sun in the summer. And uh, it actually produces more according to what they studied. So anyway, I got these here as a solar kit. The solar kit was um, with everything. With this is ha this is a full microinverter system. So if you're going to get a looking at doing your own, definitely spend the extra money, get the microinverters, because when you don't have sun, like right now, I've I don't have sun. I mean, I don't have a lot of sun up here right now. It's kind of it's kind of a cloudy day. So, but it's still producing. Um, I'll show you the meter in a minute. It's uh, definitely producing right now more than I use. So. The kit, though, comes with the plans, uh, and the city didn't want to give me a permit very easily, and the solar company stepped in and said, if they don't give you a permit, I'll call them, and I will get you a permit regardless. So if you're in a city that's difficult, definitely look up Go, Go Green Solar and get your system from them because they really were very, very helpful. So, what came in the kit, real quick, was the panels, the hold down stuff, everything that you need for engineering requirements, all the stuff, every nut and bolt, all these things here are all engineered. Everything, it's all engineered for, you know, wind, for weather, for, these are all stainless. Um, it has to have, all this stuff has to be engineered. You cannot make this yourself. So the kit is inclusive for everything except for everything past this cable that comes in. This cable that comes in is included, like all the cables underneath that you can't see, um, they're all included. But where you go into your box, you tie in your box, the conduit, the ground wire. It, I could have put it actually inside the inspector said, but it said free in air ground so I just went with what the plan says because I don't want to argue with inspectors so of course he signed it right off first time um, and the cool thing about microinverter systems is is um, the best part about them is if there's a problem it immediately shuts off so like for instance there has to be 220 volts two 110 legs going into your micro into your microinverters for them to put out voltage and it, it has like a three minute delay or something like that so you connect it up turn on all your breakers and it won't put in out any power until about three minutes after that it senses so that's for safety so that when you have a power outage and the guys are up there working on the power poles, everything shuts off. Um, plus, everything inside here is just two legs of 110 versus if you have non-microinverters, you could have three to 600 volts going through that. Then you have to have labeling all the way along here showing that you have high voltage. So if you want to go through all that pain in the ass and you want your system to put out less, get the cheaper ones. <laughs> no, spend the money, get the microinverter ones, and let me show you a little bit more about this, how it's hooked up to the wall. It's actually very simple. So you see here my 
pliers come down the wall inside conduit over to my power boxes and these are all required and not included with your kit so not a big deal um if you buy one of these boxes you bend your own conduit that part you can hire an electrician for it the rest of it anybody could do it's so easy it's just all plug it in everything just plugs together it's very very easy so and then you have to run the ground so you could have an electrician do the rest from there to here if you're worried about it if not you know you can do all this yourself um, bend this conduit put it down i got it going all the way up the wall through the roof across the top of the roof spaced um, as required by the plans all included with the kit except for like i said the conduit the boxes the final hookup stuff is not included and the but the plans for it are and then it has the part number on each piece so you can go and get it yourself it's really not very hard to do so anyway they require me to put in two 20 amp breakers um, all these labels were included with the kit and where to put them and in fact I didn't put them up until the inspector came because I'm like where do you want these and he said well put this one here this one here this one here because it didn't quite match exactly what they had on their plans on the requirements so the wording was slightly different but he goes no those are fine I just need this one here this one here and this one here so that was pretty easy so then you have to buy one of these now not a lot of electrical supply places have it has to have a handle on it okay for most codes at least where I live it does um, you can't just use a regular pull out service disconnect it has to be a, a switch to disconnect so they're a little harder to find you might have to buy it online or something like that most of the supply houses did not have it then I went into the system all the wire sizes are all on the plans everything and this I had to buy too, which is not a big deal. The city provided me with this meter, and they charge me for it every month, but um, it's still worth it. I pay twenty dollars a month for the privilege of having solar in my city. So, but it still saves me about two hundred dollars a month. So, if you average two hundred dollars a month for fourteen thousand dollars, plus I got a thirty-three hundred dollar rebate, so it was like thirteen grand out of you know out of pocket total. Um, and you're making $200 a month, that's a pretty good investment. But $35,000 to make $200 a month is what the solar companies wanted to put it in. That is a ripoff. So anyway, this is how the whole thing works. It comes down the wall, it's actually fairly simple. Um, what this is, is it's showing, you can see right here on the meter, it's producing right now. You see how it's going across, that means going this way we're producing because it's wired backwards to show you the production from over here going back into the meter here so and you can look at this one is my regular meter that's my solar meter so it's showing producing and then you can see right here it says receive it's receiving and you can see the line going across right here it's actually not producing very much but it is producing right now even with the clouds that we have out um, I think I get about 700 uh, or more uh, kilowatt hours per month um, produced so it does exactly you know it probably doesn't do quite what it was rated at and most of them don't so Keep that in mind when you get them, when you get your solar panels. Um, you know, that's all optimum situations. Bright sun, you know, perfect temperature and all that stuff. If it's too hot, they don't produce as much. So, um, but it gets up over 100 in here in the summer, and I have no electric bill in the summer when I used to have a $400 a month bill. So, um, it really, really helps. It's worth it if you get the kit now one of the ways you can do that is instead of you know you can go out and and hire somebody if you don't let's say you don't know how to do any of this stuff it's really not hard 
Um, but if you don't know how to do it at all, um, you could buy the kit and then just find find a local electrician. You know, find a laborer to put the put the panels up. It's really not hard to do. But find an electrician to do the final hookup. Hook, have him hook it up all the way, run all this conduit and everything else. It's got plans. Almost any electrician can follow a set of plans. If he's got a license, he should be able to do that, no problem. And make this setup for you right here. And I bet you, um, I'd, I'd say a maximum of about $4,000 would be a good price to have somebody, if you lived in California where labor is the most expensive. Um, if you were somewhere else, it'd be much cheaper probably than that. So uh, all these stickers came with it. And it goes into the box right here. So uh, it's a little stuck. Oh yeah, it's right. You have to push this thing in, then it goes down, and then see that's my prophylactic double pull 40 amp breaker right there. So that's uh, prophylactic is basically solar in, in gibberish language, um, and the code city codes and stuff like that. Oh, you have a prophylactic system, so just to scare you into not doing it. So, if you're looking at doing solar, the place I went to is gogreen.com. Uh, they're in Placentia. Um, if you're from California, you can go over there and pick up your solar panels. The disadvantage to using them is that you will have to pay state and city tax on it. Um, unless you like have a property in Arizona or something like that, they can ship it to and then you can go pick it up or something like that. Um, but the shipping cost is going to uh, almost be as much as the tax. So um, anyway, but if you buy it somewhere else, you can probably not pay that tax, but you're going to have to pay shipping. So um, that's the only thing. The thing that the advantage is to using them for me was that they were, they know they're licensed to install solar in California and licensed electricians so um, if you need a electrician signed off plans in my city required the plans to be signed by a licensed electrician so I said hey I need these things signed by an electrician oh you don't need a, a, a engineer I said no they said oh well we'll do that so <laughs> that saved me three hundred dollars right there and having an engineer signed so they required either an engineer to sign it or a licensed electrician so uh, C10 license and they have that so those were big advantages to them pricing was super competitive it was like I don't know what in a hundred dollars of the cheapest ones and the quality of the panels and the quality of the product that they had was right up in the top five to ten of all solar companies so you know, you need the best ones, probably not. Um, you know, like Enphase is probably the best um, microinverters. They have Enphase, but they charge a little bit more for them. Um, but they had another one, and I can't remember the name of it offhand. And that brand does two panels instead of one, so you need less inverters. And it was about, I don't know, thousand dollars less than in phase so it ended up working out really good the system produces at least what we expected and um, I would highly recommend doing it um, because you know why not it's just a good investment and I would highly recommend if you can't do it all, all cash there's financing available you could probably talk to them they might have some financing um, but you know really honestly you could probably just get one of your credit cards and uh, finance it yourself and make payments on it or you could even um, go ahead and get a uh, use one of those no interest cards you know where it's no interest for a year or two years or something like that and then transfer the balance a couple times between a couple different credit cards if your credit's really good and pay for it you know um, so I'm just giving you guys a bunch of ideas that you can use so let's say there was no interest for a year and you had $200 a month electric bill you saved that's $2,400 you just knocked down on that bill and then you transferred the balance say once or twice more 
you've got half of it paid off right there. So there's a way to do it because you're saving money on your electric bill. Um, you probably won't save money on December and January, depending on how your system is. My system is my roof gables are uh, west east facing. So if your roof is tilted south facing, you're going to produce more. So if you have a south facing roof that's clear all the way across um, and you don't have any trees, like I had a tree right here and they actually trimmed it, which was cool because it was dead at the top. So and in the winter, I'm the sun is skimming the trees just a hair. So I lose a little bit of sun. So keep that in mind. Get up on your roof, uh, scope it out, um, and just go ahead and just do it. If you have any questions, give me a holler on the uh, comments, and I definitely will answer you because I'd like to see a lot more people do it. Because, you know, why not use the sun? It's the cheapest thing there is.